Hi, I'm Lance Roberts, and this is my showbiz story. I grew up in the city here, and、uh, I was like 21 years old, and I remember thinking that all my friends were already in Broadway shows, which was just an overdramatic reaction because that wasn't true. But you, when you're a kid, you know everything is dramatic, especially if you're an actor. And、um, But I was fortunate enough, right before I turned 22, to get offered a Broadway show as the swing in the musical *The First* about Jackie Robinson, first African American to enter the major leagues in baseball, and it was Martin Sharnin's next show after his mega hit *Annie*. Well, the show was getting standing ovations and cheers during previews, and、uh, they hadn't given me my contract yet. But they had already taken me up to my dressing room, and I could just roam about the theater. And you know that glorious—it's like oh, home, mildew, <laughs> but you don't care. Well,、um, the show opened, and it. Got sort of like middling reviews, not enough to keep it open. But I remember Martin Sharnin saying that we shouldn't like bad mouth any critics or anyone who didn't support the show, because we are a community, and if we're lucky, we get to go around this block again. Well, the show closed, and but I was inspired by Martin's words that I would get to go around the block again, and I'll get to be in another Broadway show. Well, I did get to be in another Broadway show, and I got to be on stage. But it took 30 years to the day. But the coolest thing was that it was the Pee Wee Herman show, and the characters were so famous, and I got to play the king of cartoons. And he got this big buildup, and they announced that he was coming on. There was a little song before he came on, and I got to burst through center stage finally after. 30 years in a spotlight to th- just so much applause because they love the King of Cartoons. It wasn't for me, but I got to really like live in、uh, his glory, and I'm holding for applause. Even I mean, this was like crazy. I'm just holding and holding and holding, and just sort of like standing in this position, you know,、um, and I. Really was very aware of the moment of that、um, that I was again sharing with this character, the King of Cartoon. But I was just very aware that I had waited so long to just sort of step on that stage.、Um, but in the middle of the moment, Pee Wee Herman turns up stage and looks at me because he has to hold too to start his line because they're just going on and on and on and applauding. He was like. Are they still applauding? Really? They're still applauding. <laughs> he was joking, but it just sort of it, it broke me out of it. It made me. I got so tickled by that because、uh, we had a great、uh, rapport on stage. Uh, anyway, uh, we had done a, a preview of the show out in Los Angeles, so it's like we definitely、um, were used to each other. And I, it just, it just, it just tickled me, but it also warmed my heart because. Here I was, with a great comedian on Broadway, with applause, center stage, and it, it was just—it was like a dream moment. And that's what we do as as actors.、Um, we get to create these characters who have already lived a life on the page, and we know their outcome. And for the audiences that get to see us, they get to have a cathartic moment. Because they get to see things realized, you know, whether it's, you know, getting the money at the end of the play, or, or getting the love of their life,、um, but dreams do happen in the theater, and in film, and on television, and、uh, we get to be a part of it, and I love it.